आई रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल करंटली यू कैन सी आई अपलोडेड मोर वीडियो ऑन मेनी वीडियो ऑन रासबेरी पाय आर्डिनो देन पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग देन सम वेबिनार सो दैट इट कैन ग्रो योर करियर सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न समथिंग फ्रॉम मी इट इज फ्री एंड यू हैव टू जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस सब्सक्राइब बटन and all the video it is it is very unique and you will learn definitely many thing from me i upload a mostly video on raspberry pi mostly video on iot then arduino there are different types of project i have explained and each project having the programming part so please subscribe my channel please support me and please enhance your knowledge by watching my video hello friend in today's session we will see how we can connect a gsm model with raspberry pi in protest software so we will do the simulation of this project so in this complete video we will learn how to connect the gsm model with raspberry pi also we will see the program part you can see uh, this program part of this project so i request you please watch this complete video so that you will get idea about each and everything about this project okay so before start the project explanation i would like to tell you what will be the final output so you can see on the screen we have the raspberry pi we have the gsm model and we have serial terminal so basically serial terminal is used to display the gsm model message and raspberry pi is used to send the message on the gsm model so once i click on this run button so once i click on this run button you can see wait for some second and after some time you can see the gsm command sent through the raspberry pi on the gsm model 80 80 cfg then 80 uh, cmgs and mobile number and then message sent so this is the complete idea behind this project simulation so i would i would request you please watch this complete video so that you will get idea about each and everything about this project okay before we do the uh, simulation it is very important to install the gsm library in your laptop so basically first you require the protis 8.9 software for the raspberry pi so download protis 8.9 software uh, you can find this software anywhere on the youtube or uh, google uh, any uh, if you search on google then you will find this protis 8.9 software then second part you require this folder gsm raspberry pi uh, protis so this folder i provide you through my google drive link so google drive link given in the description so in this folder you will find the ready made simulation you can use my ready made simulation also you will find the gsm library for the protest so you require to download this folder so once you download this folder just go to the gsm library for the protest so after you go to inside this folder select all these three files click on copy right click there and copy so copy all these three files so what i did i selected all these three file right click here and copy so once i do copy you have to go to c drive link so c drive folder so go to your c drive of your laptop so you can see i am in the c drive then go to the program 86 program file 86 then click on labs and electronics you can see this is the labs and electronics double click here then go to the protest state software then data then lib lib and then whatever the library we have copy just paste that file here so once you paste that file you will not ask this replace because i have already replaced i have already placed uh, paste my file so this message warning given to me but you will not get this message warning so once you paste that file you will find uh, this library get installed in your protest software okay when the gsm library install in your protest software then open the protest 8.9 software so right click on the protest 8.9 software and click on run as administrator then after that you will find this uh, window protis 8.0 software then click on new project then you can give your project name here then provide the part wherever you want to save this project click on next button then click on this create schematic from the selected template then click on next button then select this do not create the pcb layout then click on next button then select this create from where project go to the family and select raspberry pi then after that you can see raspberry pi 3 we have selected here and then python 3 then click on next button and click on finish so once you do the finish you can see uh, two window will be open one in one in one window we will do our schematic that is circuit diagram and in the second window we will write our code okay once you find this window first part we have to place the gsm library here so go to the component mode you can see this is my arrow please follow my arrow here is the component mode then click on component mode then click on p and type here gsm so once you type gsm select this gsm 900d and click on okay and place that gsm anywhere you want like this so i have place here now next part is you require the serial terminal so go to the this one you can see this is the option so click on here and click on virtual terminal and place that virtual terminal here now the first part is you require to connect 
GS, uh, Raspberry Pi TXD pin because Raspberry Pi will send the signal on the GSM module. So Raspberry Pi TXD pin should be connected to GSM RXD pin. So go to terminal mode, then click on default and place the default pin here. Right click on the default pin, rotate 180 degree and connect the default pin here. Then double click on default pin and give here name TXD and click on OK. Then after that, this GSM, uh, this serial terminal RXD pin should be connected to here. You can see like this. So like this, I have connected these two pins. So you can see there is a one box gap between the TSD pin and the RXD pin. And between that gap, I have connected the uh, this one RXD pin. You can also you can also stretch this like this, uh, so that you will find easily gap in between these two pin. And then again, you can connect like this. So in this way, we have connected the GSM model with Raspberry Pi. Now we have to load the hex file into GSM. So double click on this GSM model. So double click on this GSM model. Then go to the program files. And in the program files, you can see go to the uh, this PC again. Go to my downloaded folder link from my Google Drive link. So go to my downloaded folder. You can see this is my downloaded folder. And inside the downloaded folder, you will find the GSM library for the Proteus. Go to, go to inside that and select this hex file. GSM library hex file, click on open and click on OK. Then you can see our circuit diagram is completed. Now we will go to the source code. Now we will see the source code that is program of this project. So basically when you open the source code, you will find this many files. So we no need this file. So select all this file, delete all this file and write your code here. So I have already copied my code. So I have write directly here. So you can, you can see this is the source code. Now we will see the importance of each and every line from the source code. So first line is import time. So basically if you want some delay in your code, then you require this library. Import raspberry pi dot gpo gpo. Basically if you want some gpo pins used in a project, then you can use a gpo pins. PIO and port basically used for the serial communication. So basically why we require the serial communication? Because raspberry pi will send the signal on the GSM model through the serial protocol. So that's why we require the serial communication. And that's why we imported this to library. Then gpio.set mode gpio board. So basically we will use as raspberry pi compute board so that we will use this line. Then gpio.set warning to the false. So basically whenever we run the code, raspberry pi gives a warning that whatever the code, whatever the pins we have used that already used before. So to avoid that warning, we will we should use a raspberry pi set warning to the false. Then pio.port. So basically whenever we require this, we want to use this uh, txd rxd pin that is use for the serial communication for the from the raspberry pi we have to define the uh, object variable through that we can access that pin so to define that object variable we will use this line then while one so while one is basically whenever there is a uh, if you want to run the code for an infinite number of time you can use this while one then time dot slip at the starting we will give one second delay then pi pi dot ur dot print ln 80 so we are sending the 80 command one by one by using this line pi dot ur dot print ln so one by one 80 commands in on the gsm model and that will be display on the uh, on serial terminal so basically all the 80 command we are sending one by one so this this is the basic idea behind this program i hope you understand the program now we will see how to open ready made simulation so if you want to open the ready made simulation you can just open the proteus 8.9 software as run as administer then click on run button then after that you can click on this open project then after you click on open project just go to the uh, downloaded folder link again you can see gsm raspberry pi so in this you will find this file gsm raspberry pi protease simulation so this is the ready made simulation i will provide you freely you can open this pro open this project click on open button so you will find ready made source code there then ready made uh, circuit diagram also there uh, so you have, you just have to click on this run button first you have to download the hex file into gsm model it is very important so double click again this gsm model click on this folder select this hex file click on open and click on ok then after that where this hex file come i already told you in my video so watch this video carefully so click on open and select this run button so once you select this run button, it will take some time to run the project. And after some one to two seconds, project start working. You can see 80 command start sending here. 
so this is the complete idea behind this video i hope you understand the video if you like my content please like click on like button if you new to new to the this channel please subscribe my channel please provide your support thanks thanks for the watching